Hi everybody, Calvin here from London Stereo Review X. That's my channel. I review vintage stereo equipment, mostly speakers and amps, sometimes modern equipment. And I've been dabbling with stereo in a sort of slightly insane way my whole life. As a teenager, I spent many hundreds of hours really doing tests, changing something, listening on headphones, changing things, listening on headphones. You know, thousands of hours probably, you know, stupid amount of time. So I'm quite good at spotting what's going on with sounds fairly quickly and you know, you know, the minutiae of it all to be honest. But anyway, so today I'm gonna sort this out or deal with this subject of by wiring. There's some, you know, myths, some people say it doesn't do anything, some people don't believe in cables. I gotta tell you. Cables make a difference. Sometimes all they seem to do is repress certain things. That can happen. But the fact, the idea that they don't make a difference is not true, if you ask me, anyway. So I'm gonna show you how to set up by wiring and then we'll talk about what happened and I've done experiments with, without, changing cables, all kinds of stuff. Okay, so uh, we'll do that now. So, what is by wiring? If you don't know, to do by wiring, if you look on the back of your speakers and you see there's two sets of terminals, so four individual terminals or six or possibly eight, then you could do by wiring or is it tri wiring? I'm not sure. But if you've just got a positive and negative, you can't do it. So, what it is, is basically, so this positive and negative here is for the high frequencies. It's for the tweeter, yeah? And this one here is for the woofer. It's a two-way speaker, yeah? So what this will provide is A, it's essentially a thicker cable, right? That's number one, which might help things. And B, this wiring will go direct to the tweeter instead of going through the crossover. At least one of the wires do. So that's the, uh, that's the idea of it. And I'll show you on the back of the amp how uh, it connects there. So let me just move that there. I mean, if you don't have this by wiring, you, when you by wire, you'll see plates connecting the positive and the positive and the negative and the negative. There'll be a little plate joining them together. But you've got to take that out, yeah? You don't want those, the negative and negative joined together or positive and positive joined together with metal or wire. That's got to come out, yeah? Okay, let's just quickly look at the back of this amp. So, I mean, there are different ways, two ways really of doing this. I mean, I've got two sets of speakers on this amp. So, you know, this is right hand, positive, negative, and again, right hand, positive, negative of the second set of speakers, yeah? So when I play this, and I can select speakers A, speakers B, I can actually listen to just the woofer or just the tweeter, if you want. So, you know, have them both on, else it will sound totally rubbish. Um, if you don't do that, and I'll quickly show you in a close-up way, you know, if you don't do it in that technique, what you're going to do is Take one of these off and put that red cable into this banana plug. So you will end up with one cable with two reds and two blues, but just two banana plugs. So that's like if you're gonna do it as empowering from one set of speakers. But I've got two sets of speakers, so I am gonna do it that way. Okay, one second. So, let's talk about what does it sound like? Is it better? Well, if you want a quick answer, it's yes. The answer is yes, okay? Um, I'll tell you the whole experimentation or system I went through. You know, I did a proper scientific thing. I listened to the same song, or in fact, two different songs, and I went from bi-wiring to standard wiring. Here's the trick. I also did a thing where 
I used different cable for the woofer, different cable for the tweeter. So I've got another old speaker cable here and uh, that's where things actually get quite interesting. Well, you can really do a bit of tweaking uh, that way. So, okay, what can I say? Put simply, the difference by wiring these or not, I mean, these aren't incredible speakers, but this is a great amp, I've got to tell you, Sugden A48, which is better than my name NAP 100, which is 50 watts a channel, that's 50 watts a channel. This is just great. And I used an Arcam Alpha um, CD player. But uh, so the difference between bi wiring, single wiring, everything gets a bit better. Yeah? So, you know, you're just, uh, it was just a universally better thing. It wasn't like, oh, the bass didn't do anything, or the treble didn't do anything, or the sound stage didn't do anything. Everything just went, it just got a little bit better, a little bit richer, a little bit more detailed, a little bit better sound stage, yeah? I mean, you know, I thought, well, how can I describe this, you know? I would say, you know, like, 4%, you know, something like this, you know, the sort of thing that if you weren't paying attention, you wouldn't notice. But it's worth having because, you know, it will play out well across time. You know, what you notice immediately is a slight difference. It will be more rewarding, you know, for the years ahead. So, you know, let's say, put simply, yes, it works. It's true. It sounds better. You're, you're basically using double cables, yeah? So you're using thicker cable for a start, and it's a more direct route inside. So you're cutting out some circuitry. Uh, what can I say? It sounds better, but let's go on to some of the other sort of interesting things. So what I did was, I got this other cable here, which is a, you know, just another cable I had knocking around, and I put this into the high frequency driver and I left those other cables which are actually called, uh, they're called Van Dam. Yeah, those other cables, I've got them off Amazon. I know that it's not Van Den Hull, it's Van Dam. I don't think they're very famous. Uh, someone can tell me, but I don't think they're very famous. But they're okay, you know. What we're doing here is uh, we, we're checking the principles, you know. So anyway, I put this in the high frequencies. This sounded better. It was a, it, this was a win. This was a win-win. And I checked that by reversing it. So I put that into the low frequencies and uh, the Van Dam into the high frequencies. Not good. A real distinction between something that was getting a little bit wrong and something that was quite good, you know? So there's a real opportunity for tweaking, you know? If you have a load of cables knocking around at home and you can buy wire them, just try that, yeah? Try one on the bass, different one for the treble, different one for the bass. And do your controlled experiment. Listen to the same song. I was listening to Clever Trevor by Ian Jury, and I was listening to the Wild, uh, no, the E Street Shuffle, Bruce Springsteen. But, and uh, whatever you do, listen to the same record, sit down, don't move the volume knob, turn the power off when you change your cables and just turn the power on or turn your speaker selector off, but don't touch the volume knob, sit in the same place, just play one song. I would say the differences here are quite small. So I wouldn't listen to a load of songs because you'll forget what the first one was doing. So I would pick one song, and if you don't have a good song, use Too High, Stevie Wonder. Brilliant, brilliant test song. It's got everything. It's got everything you want to hear. Brilliant test song. Um, so I'm messing around with these cables. Yeah, one way was good. The other way wasn't so good. Now, uh, let me say a few things about cables, because I know there's a whole world of business of cables. I have a load of stereo equipment, yeah? So if I want to change things up or, in, you know, which I do all the time, 
I'll just change the app or change the speakers. Mm. That's a big difference. Cables are not going to turn something bad <laughs> into something good. Yeah, do you know what I mean? They're, 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 uh, they're, they're methods of transmitting the signal, you know, they're not like signal creators, you know. Uh, also, you have to be careful. I, over there, I have some interconnects, uh, which are quite expensive, and I really don't like them. They do something I would call positively bad, you know. They thin out the treble. So, you know, be careful. It's not, I wouldn't say you could just throw money at cables. I mean, unless you're super rich. But to me, cables are tweaking. Yeah, they're for tweaking. So, just going back to my uh, tweaking of this. Using this one for the treble, why did that work? It worked because this is a metal dome tweeter. And it wants a little bit of taming. Yeah. I mean, frankly, you might say this cable isn't as bright. But in this situation, that worked. It made the whole thing sound better. Even made the mid-range sound more solid. Do you know what I mean? So, um, you, can, you can tweak things. You know, if you've got a bright room, you can tweak things around. And you, I mean, just do that experiment. Experiment with them if you have cables knocking about. Change them around. But ultimately, does bi wiring work? Yeah, it does work. Do cables make a difference? Yeah, they do make a difference, you know. They do sound different. <coughs> some of them will just suppress some things, to be honest with you. You know what I mean? Some of them that aren't all round better, they'll just squash the treble and you feel and it sounds like you're getting more bass. So, you know, you've got to watch out, you know. So don't, I, you know, unless you're super rich, I wouldn't throw lots of money. I would spend my money on some okay cables and concentrate on other things. That's what I would do. Uh, but yeah, by wiring, it does work. And uh, you know, do that tweaking. Uh, don't forget if uh, there's loads of reviews of my of uh, amps and speakers on my channel. Uh, and like and subscribe. Apparently that's good. Okay. Thanks. Bye now.